Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share my interview experience with Goldman, Goldman Sachs for the role of software engineer associate at their Bangalore office. So if you're someone who's preparing for product based companies like Goldman Sachs or is curious about the Goldman Sachs interview process, make sure to stick around till the end. I'll also talk about how I prepared for each round. So uh, how it all started. It all began when I received a recruiter email inviting me to apply for an open position at Goldman Sachs. The role was for a software engineer associate based in Bangalore. So I applied through the link they shared and shortly after that I got an email for the online assessment round. So round one online coding assessment which was on hacker rank. So it consisted of three DSA questions to be solved in 90 minutes. The questions were medium to hard level covering topics like arrays, recursion and graph traversal. I was able to fully solve two questions and I partially solved the third. Some test cases were failing, but the time was up and I couldn't complete it fully. But honestly, uh, Time management played a huge role here as I was able to solve two full questions and luckily that was enough to clear the cutoff and I moved to the next round. So a tip from my side for this round would be to practice 90 minutes contests regularly. It trains your brain to think and code under pressure, especially on platforms like lead code, code forces and hacker rank. Then round two, coder pad interview. So after clearly clearing the online assessment, I was invited to the coder pad round. So this is a one hour live coding interview where the interviewer shares a link to a shared coding environment, which is coder pad. And you're expected to code in real time while explaining your thought process. So in my case, I was given one DSA question, which I completed in about 45 minutes. Since we had some time left, only 15 minutes were left and they couldn't uh, give me another DSA question. Usually they give two DSA questions. But uh, since I had only 15 minutes left, the interviewer didn't ask the second DSA question. And uh, he instead switched to uh, Java concepts like OOPS, exception handling, multi-threading and some questions on React and some questions about my current and past experience. So the key here is clear communication. They not only assess your coding ability, but also your problem solving approach and how you explain it. Okay, so make sure you listen to the question carefully, take notes and tell your approach properly and uh, keep speaking while you're coding as well so that he understand what your approach is. Don't just start coding right away and don't be silent. Then, so, since I was able to clear the quarter pad round as well, they scheduled my round three, which is the Goldman Sachs Super Day. So this is unique part of their process. It consists of three back to back interviews scheduled on the same day with short breaks in between. But in my case, only two rounds could happen on that day. And the third round was postponed and never rescheduled. So each round was 60 minutes long and a mix it was 60 to 70 minutes. They actually postponed my second round and it overlapped my uh, timings of the third round. So that's why the third round couldn't happen. And uh, yeah, so here they asked uh, problem solving DSA questions. Mostly it will be like OOPS, DSA and uh, software practices or system design like that. So for both of the first two rounds, they asked me DSA questions. So they are uh, like technical deep dives in areas like uh, so first one was like I think it was a question on on in quarter pad interview the question was related to queues and uh, breakfast search then uh, in super day first round the question was I'm not able to recall what it was uh, but in the second round the question was uh, one binary search variation question and one uh, a 2D array prefix some question. Okay, so make sure you know this or you look up these questions as they are likely to come again. Okay, unfortunate. So after 
both my rounds were done unfortunately after a few days when i followed up with the recruiter since they were not rescheduling my third round i was informed that they are not moving forward with my application it definitely stung a bit but i learned a lot from the process so here's uh for those who are wondering how i prepared for this so for dsa i practiced consistently on lead code and i used chat gpt to have him search for me recently asked goldman sachs interview questions i also looked up on reddit and other platforms where people put up their interview experiences so i was solving those questions uh like two pointers sliding window graphs trees queues so all these questions i was uh, i consistently solved on lead code then i had a few mock interviews with my friends then uh, i brushed up my uh, top uh, knowledge on java and react and yeah basically you should search past interview experiences on sites like uh, glassdoor geeks geeks for geeks uh, and reddit so that you get to know what kind of questions are being asked recently and uh, you can prepare on them so final thoughts would be that even though i didn't get selected in the final round the experience was super valuable goldman sachs has a rigorous but fair process and they really look for engineers who are strong in dsa solid in core language knowledge and good communicators who can think on their feet so if you're applying to goldman sachs or any other similar company stay consistent practice smart focus on not just solving problems but explaining your approach clearly okay that's it for my goldman sachs interview experience i hope this gives you some useful insight and helps you prepare better if you found this video helpful don't forget to leave a like comment on the video and subscribe to my channel for more such interview experiences and prep tips and if you had a similar experience or want to ask anything specific feel free to drop a comment below thanks for watching and all the best for your interviews.